Today, Burnsville City Council will debate merging several landfills along both sides of 35W to all right here. This area we are at the intersection of 35W and Highway 13. All of that waste though, it would pile up right here behind me and already piling up are the concerns from people in the city next door. A snow covered mound in an industrial area, Burnsville, but on the other side, Bloomington, a neighborhood this woman's home. There has got to be a better way. JC St. Antome doesn't want this to become this. I can imagine that there's going to be great stench, that there's going to be a great eyesore. The proposed landfill would be almost 400 feet high, this much taller than Buck Hill, this much taller than your average two-story home. I want my children to want to live in this community, and this is a huge step towards them not wanting to be here. It's on the Burnsville City Council agenda today, but being so close, Bloomington's involved. We have a lot of unanswered questions on the logistics. Council member Patrick Martin says they're in fact-finding mode. Based off what we've seen so far, uh, we do have some pretty substantial concerns. Not just about the height, but also the volume. It's going to be 26 million cubic yards of garbage, which is seven times the volume of the biggest pyramid in Egypt. The pyramids had uh, a pharaoh and priceless artifacts, and this will have candy bar wrappers from the 80s, so it's it's a pretty huge project. Some other concerns, environmental impact, more trucks driving around. So what gives? The city of Burnsville points to three potential benefits. Consolidation, the landfill would merge two existing trash piles into one, freeing up land for new development and subsequently jobs along the riverfront. And finally, the landfill could take in your garbage. Your city would pay a fee that Burnsville says would help pay for infrastructure and other projects. But JC says, not in my backyard. Why is it not in a rem more remote location? This is the city center. This is uh, the center of a community. We also reached out to Waste Management, the company behind this landfill in this project and they say while Minnesota is great at recycling there is still a need for a place for waste. Now at tonight's meeting if this is approved it would mean that council would encourage waste management here to proceed with the process. Now it is important to keep in mind though that there are a lot of steps after today including more research and approvals before this all would become a reality. Guys.